Hi folks and uh, welcome back again to another uh, Battle on the Tabletop from the uh, campaign vlog. Uh, this time we're uh, matching up against the uh, Prussians and the uh, French and their allies. Uh, we have a swing up and a closer look at the uh, main campaign map. The uh, encounter we're doing now is this one here where um, the French caught under Bertrand basically uh, chased what was left of the Prussian army uh, until we finally made contact with them here just north of the uh, main town and the bridge mainly their route of escape <clears throat> um, as you saw last week there was a battle against the Austrians and the Prussian um, Austrians and the uh, French up in this quarter here um, of which uh, the Austrians lost uh, more on that on the campaign vlog update um, so if we have a closer look on the table itself, we have the um, staff of the Prussian army and um, what we have over here is the um, Prussian lifeguard and a attachment of uh, Landwehr cavalry. Uh, we have one infantry division here slightly depleted in numbers from the earlier encounter another infantry division in the center again slightly depleted and in the far side we have another infantry division with the reserve cavalry in the back and an attachment of Lambia cavalry guarding the flank if we uh, swing down we'll see the French Corps under Bertrand. Uh, we have the French division divided into two brigades. We have the um, Wittenberg division, Corps commander, reserve artillery. And then we have a further division here which is made up of Italian troops, uh, Italian light, line and Milan guard. And right on the other side, we have some more Wittenberg cavalry. That's pan out a bit. That's the main uh, setup for the uh, encounter. The uh, rules I'm going to be using are my own set, uh, slightly revised from the uh, previous game, where there's a couple of little problems, but uh, I think I've ironed them out, so <laughs> we'll give them another go. That's the beauty of uh, playing solo campaigns. You can uh, pick and choose and change the rules and things and uh, as you go along, so uh, and nobody's the wiser. Um, for the French, their part, um, the French division over here is going to keep this section entertained while the Italians, with the help of the cavalry and the reserve artillery, are going to sweep this section Prussians and push them hopefully across the road cutting off the uh, line of retreat which is this main road here uh, forcing them either to retire rout or surrender uh, Prussians on their part basically they've just got to hold out for the day because um, they say they've been caught by the uh, French and they've basically had to make a stand at this point here so uh, for the yeah, for the Austri for the Russian uh, yeah, for the Prussians I should say far too many coalition forces <laughs> there um, the Prussians are uh, basically just got a hold for the day uh, that'll allow them time to break away and uh, make a retreat over the ray main river of uh, Manas and uh, hopefully back home um, without further ado I'll uh, get back into the uh, battle and I'll uh, come back with you with a summary of the uh, end of the first term. Hi uh, folks, uh, this is the uh, end of turn two. The uh, Prussians really haven't done much, they've shuffled the line here and there to uh, now they know which direction the uh, French are coming at them so uh, they've pretty much moved around a little bit and uh, are starting to uh, long range artillery fire to try and break up the French assault uh, the uh, Italians are moving forward slowly but surely as are the uh, French division over there as well walking through the cornfield 
So uh, I'll get back to you at the end of turn two. And here we are at the end of turn two. Um, a general advance from the French and their allies and um, the French themselves have started opening up now with the artillery to uh, try and soften the Prussians up in as well as preparation of their advance. And um, oh, the sun's come out as well, how nice. And there you go, across the uh, sweep along the table. I'll, I'll uh, get back to you at the end of turn three. And uh, the top end of turn three, and uh, the Italians have been uh, taking casualties as they've been moving in, but it hasn't stopped them at all. The uh, rest of their uh, division is moving up smartly behind. The uh, Württembergers are just sitting there waiting uh, to see which flank they're uh, going to support, or if not, they're just going to come straight up through the road. French themselves, again they've been taking some sporadic fire, but the um, screen of light uh, infantry is uh, more than up for that, and uh, they're advancing as well, and their uh, artillery battery is now starting to batter the uh, Prussians as well, so um, everything's leading, uh, going well. Um, right over on the other far flank, the uh, Württembergs cavalry and the uh, Prussians eyeing each other up so uh, no doubt uh, they're going to go and have some hand-to-hand uh, -hand fighting at the end of this uh, next turn so I'll return uh, at the end of turn four and uh, here we are at the end of turn four um, sure enough there's been some uh, contact in the uh, on this side of the flank between the uh, cavalry and um, at the moment it's pretty even Stevens over there so they're going to be going for battering each other for a while the um, Italian artillery battery here is uh, just about firing its last round for uh, problem is they're going to start uh, possibly hitting their own troops soon so they're going to uh, pull off in a little while and um, meanwhile on the front the Italians have made contact with the uh, the Italian lights have made contact with the front line of the uh, Prussians made up of um, Prussian line and reserve the um, Zambia making up the uh, rear rank for along the battle line there's not much happening along the center at the moment but again the um, French light are um, screening the main advance this is a um, a battalion of uh, Prussian grenadiers so uh, they're holding the front line quite well but uh, on the far side over the field in the sunshine the um, flank is held by the uh, Lenvia which uh, on the fourth it probably wasn't the best idea for the Prussian general <laughs> so um, he's moved up uh, some cavalry here to support them because they're uh, they're wavering already against the pressure from the uh, the French so uh, we have to watch that flank he's going to possibly have to commit some uh, reserves here to swim across if they can get there in time but we'll see what happens um, come back again at the um, end of turn five and uh, at the end of um, turn five and um, the Prussian cavalry are being pushed back slowly but surely by the um, Wittenberg troops so um, they're bringing over some more cavalry from their reserves because uh, the last thing they need is this flank to uh, collapse and allow the uh, cavalry to push onto their flanks of their infantry and uh, the centre is still standing strong although they're not coming under any pressure at all apart from sporadic artillery fire and starting to move some of the reserves possibly over to this point here because um, the Lanvia in the far end are definitely starting to break although there's some reserve troops moving across now as well from um, within the farm area so um, they may looks like they've steadied that uh, 
flank in the centre here the grenadiers are uh, standing strong against a wave of French infantry um, so at the moment the Prussians seem to have steadied their line but um, we shall see the turn at the end of um, turn six and here we are then turned six and um, return to a stalemate now again on the um, cavalry action in the corner here um, the reserve the cavalry is starting to make their way around the back anyway and um, I forgot to mention at the end of turn five the uh, Italian lights were finally pushed back basically uh, forced to withdraw and the Italian infantry line infantry and Malayan guards have now moved in to uh, take on that Prussian sector the uh, centre pretty much standing okay although they're starting to get a little bit of pressure now from some French uh, light infantry and uh, even the uh, Prussian grenadiers are um, starting to uh, waver a little now sheer weight of numbers starting to push them back so the um, battalion of reserves have moved up and the uh, battalion of reserves has also moved up on this flank because the um, Yanvir are starting to withdraw. Uh, Prussian Dragoons have uh, swung right around the flank of the hedge and have attacked the uh, French light, so they've disengaged at the moment. Uh, they've got more important things to deal with. So it um, gives a bit of time for the um, Yanvir to shift themselves out of the way and the reserve units to move in to take their place on the line. Um, that's about pretty much it for the um, end of turn six. I'll um, get back to you with the end of turn seven. And uh, end of turn seven, uh, once again, the uh, Württembergers are getting the better of the uh, cavalry melee, so they've uh, pushed the Prussian cavalry back again slightly. The uh, Italian lights have reorganize themselves and uh, the rest of the Italians have uh, once really made contact although it's again pretty even Stevens for this uh, section here the um, Württemberg infantry are now moving forward uh, seeing the uh, center weakened because of the two flanks coming under pressure and now lending their way to the center um, with the plans of just smashing their way through and thus uh, forcing the uh, Prussians to withdraw. The uh, flank has uh, stead itself now. The um, Grenadiers and the uh, another reserve battalion has pretty much uh, halted the advance. The French light Infantry were forced to uh, literally jump over the hedge to get out of the way of the marauding dragoons. In turn, they were forced to withdraw by the um, these two battalions of light infantry firing across into their flanks. So uh, they're now withdrawing out of the way as well. The Prussian Landwehr have basically moved out of the way. So we've now got another reserve unit of uh, cavalry now holding up the line and the two reserve battalions of infantry are well positioned now so um, no doubt the French are going to have a bit of a respite and then go in again so um, I'll see you at the end of the uh, turn 8 and here we are at the end of uh, turn 8 and um, over in the cavalry the um, Württembergers are definitely getting the better of the uh, cavalry skirmish now. The uh, Landwehr cavalry uh, regiment has been forced to withdraw, so um, the uh, Prussian lifeguard hussars are um, <laughs> basically having to hold the line themselves, although there's some more Prussian hussars moving in fast on the flank. The um, Italian lights are starting to move up again. The uh, this has pretty much gone into a real sort of rudge match now. The Prussians and the Italians are just uh, 
some serious hard fighting going on in here now but uh, neither side are willing to give any space at all the um, Württembergers are now moving up fast now they can see <laughs> they can see victory here so they're moving up as quick as they can the uh, center is coming under pressure again now from the um, light infantry they actually overran the battery that was here so um, they've lost the uh, Prussians have lost that and they've also withdrawn their other battery as well because uh, that's going to get lost soon as well as the uh, Württemberg make contact over this side is pretty much a stalemate the uh, French just cannot break into this farm complex however hard they try the uh, grenadiers and the reserve battalions and the other ones that have moved up across now are just just holding them back they're just too tough they're not going nowhere and um, the French light haven't rallied they just seem to be wandering around the cornfield quite happily at the moment so uh, they're not uh, paying any attention whatsoever to their command they're just uh, I think they've done their bit for the day and uh, we're back at the end of turn nine and here we are at the end of turn nine and um, over in the cavalry battle uh, even the um, Prussian Leichhardt Hussars finally broke as well under pressure but uh, just in time the uh, another Prussian Hussar unit has uh, jumped in so uh, they're gonna they should stop them they're fresh um, the Italians and the uh, Prussians just <laughs> no one's moving at all no no sides giving any quarter in that uh, in that melee uh, in the center the uh, Wurzburgers have moved in and um, it seems to be stalemate along that side now as well they seem to have stayed it in the center and on this flank as well their French are just throwing everything out of this flank but, but uh, again neither side are going anywhere so it's a real sort of uh, heavy melee going battle going along the entire front now neither side giving any ground other than the uh, cavalry on this flank and uh, yeah it's going to be um, who blinks first on this battle I think it's a real <laughs> it's a real hard fight uh, back at the end of uh, turn 10 and here we are at the end of uh, turn 10 and um, pretty much nothing's changed there's uh, been the odd movement from the Prussians just to move their um, final reserves in some bit of extra help over in this flank uh, from the two reserve battalions that moved out of the farmhouse area into the bank here to give these guys some support but um, yeah still a complete stalemate sort of almost toe to toe one for one along the whole line so um, yeah it's gonna be uh, gonna be an interesting one only two more turns to go uh, 12 turns deemed for a uh, full day's fighting so um, I will get back to you at the end of turn 11 and here we are at the end of uh, turn 11 and um, the Württemberg one of the Württemberg cavalry units has um, routed uh, and the others have been pushed back as well now so uh, pretty much even Stevens in that area now so uh, the Italian light have just moved over just to keep an eye on the uh, Russian cavalry just in case they break the other Württembergers and start attacking their flanks the uh, artillery there so I think it's completely exposed they <laughs> don't know what they're doing now I think they've just uh, wandered off the battlefield and um, the Italian infantry are still attacking the Prussians even though the Prussians outnumber them they, they're just not moving no one can make headway in that uh, the center has just been pushed back slightly as the uh, Prussians come under pressure and uh, the flank here the French are being starting to force to withdraw and uh, the Prussian cavalry have swung in on the flank as well seeing that uh, this this flank is pretty much uh, in trouble so they're going to push up as much weight as possible on this to uh, force the French to uh, withdraw um, this is the end of turn 11 so we have one more turn to go so um, 
we're going to see what happens. We're going to fight out the last turn of the battle and um, have a uh, evaluation at the end. See what uh, what we can see at the end of the battle. Uh, return at the end of turn twelve. And here we are, folks, at the end of turn twelve and the end of the game. Um, sure enough, the um, the Württembergers. Cavalry did collapse in the end. Uh, the uh, Italian bata battery <laughs> luckily moved uh, out the way. Uh, the Prussian cavalry, though, um, just aren't going to close with the uh, Italian lights. There's uh, too many muskets pointing in their direction, so they're quite happy to be uh, sitting over here on the flanks. Um, on this flank, the uh, Italians and the Prussians just no, nobody moved. There was a stalemate yet again, so uh, some uh, quite heavy casualties on both sides. But um, yeah, nothing's happened at all. In the centre, uh, a big hard push from the um, Württembergers and uh, the Prussians were slowly but surely pushed back, uh, giving ground really slowly. Though they're not there, they're still. Uh, Still fighting hard, but uh, but they are slowly giving ground. And on this flank, the uh, the French basically withdrew on the other side, or are withdrawing, I should say, on the other side of the hedge line. So the the pressure on this flank has completely gone now. So um, yeah, the end of the game. And um, I guess you could call it uh, a Prussian victory, only just by the fact that they're their flanks are there, the centre's gone, so, um, well, not gone, but it's uh, definitely under pressure. But um, I think the uh, the French and the Italians and the Württembergers have pretty much worn themselves out uh, in doing so. So I am, would call it that the Prussians, a minor victory, should we say, to the Prussians, to be fair. And uh, they're going to continue their withdrawal over the uh, main bridge at uh, the River Manasse. And um, that's pretty much them. I think they've taken uh, pretty much a battering as well. So they're just going to basically limp home and uh, we'll uh, catch up with them on the uh, next episode of the campaign vlog uh, for a summary of how the uh, campaign's going from now. Um, as always, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, watching the battle as much as I pl enjoyed playing it and uh, as always comments uh, questions are greatly appreciated and uh, as always bye for now